Aproconation. Oh yeah, today we will discuss cancer. And I know it's a topic that some of you, some of you have already said God forbid, but we have to discuss it because it can affect anyone, including you watching this. Now, in your body, there are over 30 trillion cells and each of these cells has a lifespan. They get to the end of that lifespan, get a signal from the body and then they die. Sometimes, some of these cells decide that they are not going to follow the normal plan. You know, they don't want to die and so, they bypass that code and just keep making more of themselves. They keep multiplying. If they occur in one place, it now becomes a tumor. And this tumor can either be benign or malignant. A benign tumor, you know, usually minds its own business, stays where it grows and does not invade other cells. A cancerous tumor, a malignant tumor, is the one that you should be afraid of. So it can start in the leg and before you know what's happening, it's in the brain, it can start in the colon, that's got into the lungs, it just, and that is the one that usually kills people. Now there are some things that we do that can, you know, make these buruburu cells that we talked about gain more ability to bypass the system and lead to cancer. Number one is when we smoke. Why? Because smoking contains a lot of toxins that can lead to damages in the code of these cells that can make them bypass the system and cause cancer. Number two, pollution. There's so much smoke in the air from generators, car fumes, you know, in traffic, there's a greater risk that you might develop cancer. Number three is when you don't exercise. Number four, I hope you know that diets that are high in sugar and less in fiber, for example, this processed food that people are buying up and down, can increase your chances of developing cancer. Number five, and this is not your fault, your age. I hope you know that the older you get, the harder it is for these cells to follow that life cycle of dying, you know, being uh, replaced and all that. Some of them may just bypass and that's it. And also, make sure that your immune system is top notch. Even in me that is speaking, some of my cells, even all of us, our cells have gotten some form of damage or the other. But the thing is, our immune system removes those cells as soon as they see them. So if your immune system is not strong enough, or good enough, those cells will bypass the system and start to grow uncontrollably. These are just some of the things that can lead to cancer. It's not everything. And so to answer all your questions, we are going to make a full video that will explain everything you need to know about cancer. But for you to know when that happens, make sure you're following Fitzin Cares or me so that you get first-hand information and not then tell me for here.